Welcome to Tabletop Gaming Guild. Today we'll be looking at Steam Rails to Riches, a Martin Wallace game. So we're going to be looking at the solo game. We'll go for the basic rules. So this game does have a basic rules and then standard rules. So basics just like learning how to play standards adds a lot more difficulty. But for today we'll just go for the basics. So the first thing we're doing is picking an action tile. So this does double function. Allows us me to pick a power as well as turn order for next round. This is the least valuable one, but it gives me first choice to turn next round. This one gives you first choice of delivering goods. Uh, engineer allows me to build an extra railway. First build just allows me to build my railways first. City growth allows me to add extra goods to a city. Locomotive allows it to travel further, basically. Urbanization adds another city to the board with goods. That's not going to make too much sense yet, but I'll go through it as the game goes, and you'll get to see what each does. So, for the first turn, let's minimize this and look at the map. I'll show you this map. So, we're going to be trying to build rails connecting these cities. And then taking turns delivering goods. So, basically, you have to get a good to a matching color city. And you get points for each section of rail you travel through. That's not for each hex. A section of rail is any number of hexes it requires to travel from one city to another, just regardless of whether it's a small city or a full-fledged city. We can start building rails from any city. So it's kind of a matter of, okay, trying to figure out where I want to start. This is a nice place. You can get a blue over there. Purple, ra rather, over here. In the future, I can get a purple over from here. One of the things I could do is I can plan to build this. And increase my locomotive this turn. Alternatively, I could build here. And I don't have to increase locomotive. I could just deliver those too. It's just a matter of future turn planning. I think that might be a good idea. Build here. I get two goods delivered this turn. Not at a huge amount of points though. I like the idea of doing locomotive and building this. Oh, I could do the locomotive. I could do one, two. Or I can do the four and go this way. Then I can't deliver it. Ding! I can do forward, do it that way. I could do this, increase my locomotive, but I can only help deliver one then. Or I can go around the city and just deliver two, get two points. I think it's, nice, it's, I think it's a good idea to increase my locomotive as quickly as possible. Okay, I can increase my locomotive, I can build from here, I can deliver this yellow. Maybe I do the four rails. I think that's what I'm going to do. Four rails. Okay, so my plan, I'm going to do the engineer. Gets me to do an extra rail. Oh, and it still managed to go first. Okay, so you got all these different types of tracks you can build. The cost of the track is determined by how many edges have track coming off them. So if this is two. If it has a city on it, that adds one to the cost. We have, for example, this one has track coming off on four edges, so that's cost four. However, I also have to factor in when I lay it down, the train underneath costs extra. So it's a, a building over a river, so it costs me an extra one. Confirm that. I'm going to build another one. And I'm going to finish here. So the reason I did four is because I kind of want to lock this up as well. So that's in. That's my four. Let's uh, watch what they do on their turns. They probably won't directly interfere right away. So one of the interesting things of this is you never actually have to worry about money in the basic game. If you spend money you don't have, you simply decrease your income to gain five money. And that's why right now I have three money, but I have negative three income because I spent a lot of money. Okay, so now... First thing I'm going to do is I'm increasing my locomotive. So if you do it in this phase, it's free. And all the other players take their first delivery action. Okay, so I'm going to deliver this good. This yellow good. So that's one movement. Two movements. Delivering it there. And I can choose to either take that as two income. 
or two victory points. At this early in the game, it's generally best to take it as improving my income. Because you lose a lot of points if you have negative income. Okay. So we take our income and expenses, and we choose again. Again, let's minimize. I want to increase my locomotive. Do I do it as the free one, or do I do it as the action here? That cost me seven money, so that's a lot of money. The free one's pretty good. But if I'm doing building three, I build one here. One, two, three. Oh, no, I will do it as the... I'll spend the seven to increase the locomotive. Because later when I build, I can deliver this yellow three spaces. So, because now my locomotive strength is three. So, I'm going to build this here. Let's rotate you. Whoop, come on, rotate. So that you're connecting that city. It costs me two extra because it's on mountains. Lock that in. Then I want to go and build down here. And here. Lock that in. That's right, just leave my territories alone. Stay over there. Of course, he's going to make some pretty good income from those goods over there. Hey. Don't you be stealing my goods. So he might try to take that yellow. So hope I'm going to... Not the yellow, the red, I mean. He's actually going for the blue, most likely. Blue would have been good for later. But I'm most likely going to use lose it. Because I can't use it yet. Okay, let's take that as income. I increase, increase by three. Okay. Uh, oh, he did not take the blue. So, that might be something to keep in mind for next turn. Increase my locomotive again to grab that blue before he gets a chance to take it. I can get down there, but I don't know if I want to tie in. Now, you can use other people's tracks, but they get a point for every section of their track you use. Okay, do I want to do this locomotive again? I think I do. I'm gonna, I can connect that, or I can go... Three, four, five, six. So when I get to six, I can get a lot of money for those purples. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna keep doing locomotive. We're inevitably gonna start seeing some overlapping of rails, so there should be a bit more competition this turn for resources. Hey! What are you trying to steal, my red? Oh no, so he's trying to bypass my rail to get to his other reds, not mine. One, two, three, four. It might be good for me to steal that while I can. I want to make sure I get the blue before he steals it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll do some expansion of my own into Green's territory. Potentially stealing some of their pieces before they can cash them in. Okay, going through my money quickly, but that's all right. Or the bank's money, because oh, people are start gonna start stealing all my resources. I think. Okay, so I'm gonna deliver this. Oh, it's not me, is it? It is me. Yes. Take this blue before he takes it. One, two, three, four. Income. Okay, now, my big question, I don't have enough to deliver these purples yet, but I do have enough to steal this red. It's going to give yellow a point, but it'll give me three. I can get three from delivering a pur this purple over here, or over there. It's not a big deal, that's not going to get stolen. I think I will take this red while I can. One, two, three, four. I think I'm doing pretty decent. 
We'll see what the end slate says. Yep, uh, it looks like I have the highest income and the highest money at the moment. However, it does seem like our opponents are focusing on adding resources for future planning. Okay, so what's the plan this turn? I do a locomotive again. I don't have enough of that, but I have one, two, three, four. I would have enough to deliver two of these purples. Unfortunately, he may steal them first. If he steals one of them, he can't steal both of them. Okay, yes, I'm going to use the locomotive. Getting more and more expensive to do that locomotive. Because the cost is four plus whatever the strength of the railroad you're building up. So four in this place, I'm building my five power rail ra locomotive. So it's four plus five, so nine. Okay, so... I get to build my track. That's a good question, is where do I want to build? I could make a big loop. Oh, nope, he's bl blocked me from doing that. I can upgrade, build a more expensive track there. Or I could kind of try to bypass and get over here to deliver this red. That seems like my optimum option. Do okay. you lock that in? Get another one. Well, this not only bypasses yellow, it also allows me to deliver things at a longer distance, which gives me more points. Um, efficiency be damned. The only thing is, I might want to do. No, let's not do that one. Um. So if I do this one, do I have a blue to deliver? I have a blue down here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so if I do that, that gives me some options. So I didn't mention this earlier, but this is incomplete. If I have an incomplete track, I have to continue to build or I lose control of that track. Basically, I have to add a little bit to it every turn, or it becomes neutral, and then somebody else can claim it. Ooh, he added some yellow up here? That's some good points, but he'll probably use it before I get it. Okay. I don't need these tracks open. So, what was the plan? Steal this. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. This. One, two... Three, four, five. My income at right now, three. Yeah, let's get the income up like once more. I've been spending a lot on locomotives, but I've been making it up for by doing expensive deliveries. There's 10 turns in this, so we're not quite halfway through, and eight income is pretty good for that. He did not take this. So I still can take this. The max income, though, is 10, so I'm going to have to take this as points. Because you can't split it. You can't do some to income, some to points. Either one or the other. So that makes me the first one with points on the board. Not bad for halfway through the game. Usually it's pretty late in the game before you see any real points starting. Man, this AI keeps taking cities. Kind of dangerous if you can't capitalize and people take the goods away from them. Okay, so again, do I do one my locomotive once more? If I do, I can do one, two, three, four, five, six, and do the first. Oh, that is so nice. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm doing the locomotive again because that's so valuable. Okay. And I believe that's the highest my locomotive can go is six. Wow, and he built the city well within my territory? I guess he is trying to bypass my things, but it gives me a lot of options. Okay, building tracks. So, I have to finish this piece of track. Let's rotate you. Otherwise, I lose it. Now, I believe as long as I expand on this track, even if I don't quite finish it, I still keep that. And green seems to be focused on making loops to take all his goods on the scenic route. The inherent in inefficiencies that encourages thematically a little off, but 
It makes for an interesting puzzle. And we got Yellow here just struggling to work around me. I'm stealing this purple because he's gonna take that otherwise. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. And that's victory points because otherwise the XX income would just be lost. I think I'm slaughtering them. Okay, let's take another purple. One, two, three, four, five, six, and deliver that. Fifty points again. Well, here we go with green again with his really clever loops and king of the scenic route. So they're kind of, Green seems focused on their little area, just kind of looping it as much as possible to maximize. Okay, so yes, six is my highest. I cannot do locomotive anymore. Somebody else has done all the urbanization, which is facility building. City growth. Let's look at city growth. If I can get some purples out, purples can get stolen though. Oh, if I can get some red, that reds are nice. Okay, if I do the red. Oh, red is not actually as good because. Unless I put it here. One, two, three, four, five. Yells are awful though. If I do a purple and put it here, what's the chance of somebody stealing it? Actually, the chances of somebody stealing it are fairly low because they're gonna have to pay somebody else. Green would be the most likely. One, two. They get four points, but they give yellow. Uh, the only problem is that the gray is not worth a lot for me. But gray cities. So if I take the purple and gray and put it here, and I can next turn I do an urbanization and build a gray city there, it's pretty good for me. So I will do city growth. And there Green goes again with his crazy loops. <laughs> it's like, oh, is he doing? <laughs> oh, come here and finish that. There's this thing way up there that nobody's worked towards. Bypass is blue. Steal the blues from. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Oh, that is pretty lucrative. Oh, so I didn't realize somebody's already added to the city. So each city can get only had goods added to them once. Darn, if I put it over here, green is absolutely will steal it if I put it over there. If I put it here, less likely. But one, two, three, four. I only get four out of it. So he screwed me up. But I put the yellow. Yeah, he'll steal that too. If I put yellow over here, yellow steal it. Oh, man. I want to get something I can put over here and get quite a bit out of. So blues would have been nice. Unless I put a red down here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'll put a red red and yellow here. The yellow kind of sucks for me, but the red's pretty good. Looks like yellow is trying to worm its way into green's territory now. So, thorn in their side rather than just mine. They just don't seem to be utilizing it as effectively as they could. Oh well. Good for me. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, well, I spoke too soon. That's a pretty good steal from yellow. And green's also doing pretty well, but it might be a little bit too little, too late. Get five for this gray. So 
Okay, blue is gonna get me six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Goods are gonna be a little bit harder to come by in the later game, but I have a pretty sizable lead, so even if I struggle, I think I'll be all right. Okay. Urbanization seems very tempting. If I do urbanization, I can go to here, put a gray and a purple, and one, two, three, four, five. The other option is I go boom, boom. Build there. If I build red over there. No, there's no red anymore. Yellow. One, two, three. I think that's my best option. Urbanize here. Take purple and gray. He's not going to want to take the. He might take it a gray. Yep. But that's okay. Unless I want to wait on the urbanization. Because I still have two, three, four, five. Some really valuable stuff I can do. Two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, I can go boom, boom. And I could bypass some and get six for that. Oh, hard choices here. If I do city growth, put it here. Nope, none of these. Oh, I gotta finish this. Oh, yeah, that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is what I'm doing this turn. He's not gonna try to move those. He's not. It's nothing for him point wise. It's great for me. He may actually try to move it down there. He's still giving me two points. I could do engineer, get an extra build, finish this, and I'll build up into here. I don't know if I'll reach that before it. Well, it still matters. Well, we'll see. So one, two, three, four. And next turn, one, two, three, four. It's three turns. Yeah. I'll make it. Just barely, but I'll make it. My income is down to five, but that's all right. Yeah, I was trying to horn in on my, uh, what I just did. Interesting. He's trying to... Oh, this green doing that? That's weird. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, the other players are starting to make big moves to try to get their scores in and try to catch up. We'll see if it's enough. Um, sure, income. Since it's just one. And I'm consistently getting the maximum possible points each move, so as of yet, there's no real sign that they'll catch up. Who knows? I may run up options to deliver it, though, in later rounds. They're starting to build up some points, but... Maybe too little, too late. Let's do engineer again. Urbanization makes sense for Green since he's pretty much exhausted his resources in his little closed loop. So good move for him, but he's going to be struggling in the last couple rounds. There's actually two reasons why I'm expanding quickly. One, resources are running thin. Also, at the end of the game, you get points for each rail track you've laid. So they're going to be desperate for goods. So if they want these goods I'm building to, they have to use my rails. Give me some points. If they don't, I get the, the deliver them a good distance. Also, yeah, getting points from actually putting more rails down. I haven't really planned on what I'm doing this turn as far as goods one two. I still have these that I can move five each which is pretty good this one I can get five 
and one for somebody else. These purples really get me nothing. I don't think I'll get any more six point moves this game, but five's still pretty good. Especially this late in the game. It's harder and harder to get good points because fewer and fewer goods left. But in, at this point, we're on turn 8 out of 10. And I have a 19 point lead. They're really gonna... I'd have to really do badly for them to have a chance of catching up. Yeah, they're starting to use my stuff. Good thing for that one. Bear in mind, I am playing the basic game right now just to show you how it works. And I'm assuming the AI will be more challenging when you go to the standard game. This is more like a learning uh, scenario. In the standard game, you have to bid for turn order as well as decide how much money to take before you start your round. And that's all the money you have available for the round, so you really have to do a lot of planning ahead. It's a lot more challenging. can be a lot more stressful because people's actions that get in the way of what you planned can really have a devastating effect if you do not have a backup plan that you have the money for. One, two, three, four, five, three. Six for the yellow. So I'll deliver the red and yellow is for five and six. So yes, yeah, so I'll do that. So if I do that, then it's one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Again, I don't really care too much if they steal the goods I'm aiming for because they're pretty much gonna have to give me points to take them. There, in theory, is a uh, limited tracks. If you, these run out, that's it. But like the basic ones, so many of them are not running out. Now, I was debating doing a three rail track, but I'll never finish another connection. So I think we're okay with that. <laughs> Interesting. Hey, 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 that's mine. As you can see, the basic game is all about math and optimization. The standard game adds a lot more take to that, and you really have to do not only what's best for you, but also try to stop other players a lot more. Victory points. I'm sure there's ways I could be getting more points, but... I am getting enough. Okay, victory points at this point in the game. Nobody's taking this, so it's safe. So is there something I can get more points out of? Yellow's worthless. It's gray I can get. It's probably actually... No, oh, I don't want to do it that way. Oh yeah, the gray's worthless. This is the gray I wanted. Two, three. Okay, and going here. So I have to give them one point, but I get a bunch. I got a lot more than I give them. You'll see going into the selection round that a lot of options are gone now. Everybody's at six tracks, so they cannot get any more train upgrades. I believe all the cities are built, and all the goods are gone. First move. Most of the options being gone, first move, and being able to deliver first can be quite important. Ha! Huh. He's probably thinking I'm going to go here and finish that track for it. Rotate. I'm sure this is just silly, but oh well. It's not really mattering too much at this point. I've pretty much won this game. 
Although, actually, one, two, three, four. Actually, that gray is pretty good. I get first move. So at least nobody's stealing that red from me. Yeah, this gray is the best option I have. Well, the red is, but there, nobody can take the red. Actually, this blue. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, the blue's the better. I bet a lot of people saw that much earlier and were just annoyed that I didn't see that until now. Silly, I didn't see that at all initially. So, now what's left? The gray for one, two, three, four, and the red for five. So the red's the best. Victory point. I'm so slaughtering. <laughs> and seventy five points. <laughs> okay, so let's see the final score. So I ended with ninety four. So 75 for money, I raid 16 trails, uh, 16 rails, and my income for every, uh, every two income is worth one point. Negative income is worth, loses you a lot of points, so. So yeah, I slotted them. It was interesting. That, but that's the easy game. Well, join me again later for the standard game. Well, thank you for watching. Please join us again for more unboxings, reviews, previews, and playthroughs.